Hi, I'm Robert from DolphinStreet.com. You know, playing blues is just as much about playing good rhythm as it is about playing lead. Although, of course, most guitar players want to play lead first of all. But I think it's really important to also learn how to play blues rhythm well. And that's what I want to show you in this lesson. This is what we're going to be learning. It's a fairly simple rhythmic pattern where we're going to use both chords and bass note in a rhythmic pattern like this, which will create a nice blues groove. All right, let's get to it. Okay, so this is the 12 bar blues played in the key of G. And the main pattern that we use throughout this whole progression sounds like this. As you can see, I'm using no pick at all. I'm just using my right hand fingers. So the first note is the bass note. I'm playing that with my thumb. And I'm using my index finger on the E string on the third fret, the note G. And then next, I am barring on the third fret the D string and the G string. And I pluck these with my right hand middle finger and ring finger. But I do a quick hammer on now with the left hand middle finger up onto the fourth fret on the G string. So then it becomes first the thumb and then pluck those two notes and a quick hammer on. And then the next thing we do is play, start again with the bass note and then using the ring finger on the 5th fret on the D string and the G string, plucking those two with the same fingers on the right hand, the middle finger and the ring finger. Then back again to the same thing that we did in the beginning, this part. And then lastly, we use the thumb to play the bass line like this. Maybe it's not really a bass line, but there are three bass notes that keep the rhythm going. So if you put all those three together, it sounds like this. I'll play it really slowly. starts over. And you can of course play this in at any tempo you like. It sounds good both slow and fast I think. Let's play slow. It's cool, right? Old school blues. But you can also play it faster and it sounds good too. Yeah. Alright, now let's play through the whole progression. We're going to do four bars playing this. And then on the fifth bar, we're going to go up to play C. And this will be, you put your uh, index finger on the, uh, what is it, the 8th fret. And then play the same pattern for two bars. And then you go back again to the G. And play two bars. And then after that you go up to the 10th fret, the 5 chord which would here be, of course, D. 
and up one bar and then down to C one bar and then back to G again and then a turn around here I'm just playing E flat 7 and D7 okay so let me show you the right hand a little closer too. And the left hand up close would be like this. And there you have it. That's all there is to it. Okay, so now let's play through this whole progression one time slowly and one time a little faster. Okay, play with me. I'll count in. One, two, three, four. Let's do it one more time, a little bit faster tempo. Okay, are you ready? One, two, three, four. you like this lesson and check out more lessons like this at dolphinstreet.com. I'll see you later.